So let's go for a little tour. Um, again, so my name is Paola Sorrentino and I'm one of the partners here with uh, Jordan and Gianfranco at the Leopard and Il Gato Pardo. So this is our kitchen. You already uh, look, you know, you've seen a lot. So come with me to the dining room. I'm gonna show you a little bit, watch your step. You need the hand there. So now this is a real tour of the restaurant life, right? So this is our back of the house and we coming out here in the dining room. Let me tell a little bit about our restaurant. Um, this is the Leopard and it's been here for over a hundred years. It's at John Franco, my husband and partner, you already met. And here we have the main dining room. As you know, now in New York City, um, it's not allowed to have uh, guests inside yet. So we set up outside patio. But I want to show you a little bit about these beautiful, beautiful murals um, inside. They are landmarks of New York. So if you can uh, just tune a little bit. Um, these are murals by Howard Chandler Christie. He was a very prominent uh, illustrator in the beginning of the last century. He used to live here in the building in the Hotel des Artistes. And despite its name, um, this was never a hotel. This building was created in uh, 1918 and uh, it was created as a studio for artists. And this space here actually was a communal cafeteria for the artists because at the studios upstairs, they had no kitchen facility. So they will come downstairs, they will buy the ingredients and the chefs will cook for the artists. Um, and actually there were three buildings on this very same street with the same kind of profile. Um, it was a very high, you know, lively place, of course. And in the mid-century, they turned into an open space, open to the public space, and this became the restaurant. It was a Café des Artistes for many, many years, very famous, a lot of uh, people from the Metropolitan Opera, a lot of artists, um, very, very famous politicians being here. So it was a very high-end uh, restaurant. Um, it's been in the same family for many years, until 2011 when the, myself and my husband, uh, Gianfranco, we took over the restaurant and we restored the murals. So let me just show you around. This is, uh, look at these beauties. Um, this is a fountain of youth and they are just in this beautiful, beautiful setting. It's, it is a paradise created by Howard Chandler Christie. He was very, um, very fortunate with his ideas. Actually, this space had uh, many, many uh, artists come and paint on these murals here, but then in the end, he took over the whole space and he created this beautiful series. This we have the Swing Girls. And you can find actually books about uh, landmark illustrations in New York and murals in New York, and you'll find this beautiful um, illustrations. You can always, you know, take a look at our website as well. We have a little bit of the history of the building on our website as well at the leopardnyc.com. So let me jump <laughs> in because what I want to talk about is the gossip, the glamour of this place. In the 30s, when they opened up the restaurant, they used to say that the ladies, they were so mad because they, they were shocked that, right yeah because they say that the husband or the boyfriend used to look more at the murals that at them <laughs> so they pretend that the waiters they used to cover the murals with uh, with the table yes can you imagine <laughs> Like and it's and so it's so weird because now everybody's wearing masks right so we'll be doing the opposite now <laughs> I want to tell you a story, a funny story. Please follow me. When uh, we opened up uh, about uh, 10 years ago, um, we, the second day we received a phone call. Uh, somebody made a reservation for a lady that was going coming to celebrate the 102nd birthday. 
102 years. So, you know, not every day somebody comes and celebrates 102 years. So I told the chef, we prepared a cake, we added the candles. And I had the table in the front because I didn't want the lady to work too much. 102 years, you don't want, you don't know how she feels. So when they arrive, I welcome, and I try to sit at the table we used to have there. But the, the gentleman said, no, I want to sit there. So we took the lady, they came here, they had the dinner, then at the end, we brought the cake, we sang with the, the candles, and then through years. And then the gentleman who was with this lady said, we are very happy to be here. And uh, I want to tell you something. Do you see this lady here? I said, yes, it's my mother. It was the lady who was celebrating the 102 years. It was the models that Chandler Christie uh, used to do these murals. What a beautiful story. Yeah? Yes, indeed, indeed. Beautiful. So let me show you outside a little bit. Um, because of course the COVID, we are, we are closed for the public inside, but we are reopening on September 30th. So we are finally, we can wait for. So we're going to start to uh, serve indoors with, uh, you know, limited capacity, but we will start again. And it's a great site for New York. Meanwhile, we created a little patio outside. This is 67th Street. We are in between Central Park West and Columbus. So it's just a, you know, a step away from uh, Central Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful area of the city. Um, with those are familiar with 67th Street. This is um, just so perfect to have the outdoor dining. So people are loving, you know, Dining. Wow, it feels like Rome. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> the, the, exactly, exactly. It's been such a pleasure. Uh -huh.